Hello and welcome to How to Start a Board Game Company with Off the Page Games. My name is Jake Cormier. Thanks for joining us uh, in this weekly adventure as I try to put together uh, a board game company. And uh, I want you to follow along and hopefully either A, you'll learn something or B, B, maybe you'll help me out and guide me in ways that I could be doing things differently or better. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this week, I want to give you a bit of context about how I came to this position to decide to start a board game company. So I have designed a bunch of games, uh, pretty much all of them uh, with Senfong Lim, a few uh, with some other designers. And uh, so I've been around for a while and people always ask, why don't you just design, you know, publish your own games? And always is, the answer has always been, uh, that's kind of what the publisher's for, I just want to focus on design. Um, until recently we had a game where the, there were some issues with the publisher, they are no longer in existence, so we got the rights back to a game that's based on one of my favorite comics in the last 20 years, super excited about it, and when we had met with the, that creator to say what should we do uh, with this, pitch it again, try to find another publisher, it was a creator that was like, let's just put it on Kickstarter and do it ourselves, I'm the artist, I can do all the art for it and you, you guys can, can uh, put it out there. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. So I talked over Sen, and uh, uh, I, because I have been part-time at my job for the last three years to try to focus more on board games design, uh, I have a bit more time, so I'm going to actually run the company uh, called Off the Page Games, and this was kind of the, the whole how, how it started. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, you'll notice I'm dancing around what this first game is. I'll be making an announcement shortly, just things haven't been fully signed off yet so I don't want to you know jump the gun everything's everything's happening everything's good but just gotta need that pen to paper till to before I make some uh, big announcements of what, what that first game is now let's talk about this week so let's start talking about the logo so first thing I had to do was actually come up with a name for this company and uh, I knew that for me for a name um, a name can be anything and I've seen some posts on Facebook and, and meet, social media about coming up with a name for your company it can be doesn't really matter as long as it's something you like and I I thought to myself, I kind of would like to have a purpose to my company and, uh, and a kind of mission that guides uh, what I do. And I, f I found that there's not tons of publishers out there that are like that. There's for sure there are some. I mean, Kids Table Board Game comes to mind. As a, they, they make games for the family, for kids that have a bit more bite to them, a little bit more strategy to them, but that's that's kind of their mission. So that's, that's as soon as you see a game for them, you know what their what their uh, the game's gonna kind of be about, not about, but what it's gonna fit into. Um, Restoration Games comes to mind. That's a company that, uh, you know, immediately you know what they are all about. They make uh, games um, based off of old games and they restore them, it's right in the title. I thought it was really clever and it's really uh, interesting. So you, you know what kind of games they're making. And so, because this first game that I have ready to go is based on a comic, I just thought, wow, wouldn't that be cool if all the games I make are based off of comics? Specifically, probably, create your own comics. I'm not going to be getting into the Marvel and DC things. I mean, at least not for quite a while. We'll see <laughs> how big it can get. Uh, but that's that was the plan. So, once I made that decision, I'm like, then I started getting really excited. I'm like, this is, selfishly, could be at the very least, very exciting to work with all of these comic book creators that I've loved over the years. So that, that part's going to be pretty exciting. It's a bit of selfishness there from uh, what I get to do to work with them. And then um, otherwise, that was my, that was my uh, purpose is comic book uh, games. Okay, cool. So now we need a name. So then we had a big, uh, I started brainstorming, started recruiting other people to brainstorm. Like what is, when you think of comic book, what comes to mind? And I posted that on social media just to start getting some people's ideas and came up with a bunch of ideas and nothing was sticking. One that was close was uh, sequential games. I'm like, well, that seems pretty interesting, sequential games. Because uh, um, a lot of people refer to comic books as sequential art. I'm like, oh, sequential games, that's pretty neat. So I was pretty close to that one, but when I looked it up um, and kind of did some more research on it, sequential games is a type of game. And it would almost imply that all of my games were sequential games. Um, so I'm like, well, I don't like that as much. So then I came up with some other ideas like, uh, what was this, some uh, panels to pieces? Mm, yeah, I don't know, drawn and boarded? Yeah, I didn't like that either. Uh, frames to games? I, strategic frames? Like I was trying to incorporate something about the comic book world in it. And uh, then basically, um, just through that process of brainstorming, that one a session was sent actually, uh, I, I, I just typed in off the page. And 
we kind of kept brainstorming and then I brought it back up I'm like off the page actually that's kind of neat I thought that was neat because it jumps off the page at you and uh, off the page and onto the tables kind of like maybe the maybe the, the, the subheader or something like that so so then once we got the name step one and that step one is coming up with the name then uh, step two was checking a domain so I had my web guy I have a web guy I don't know if you have a web guy but I got a web guy uh, check make sure off the page games is available and yay it was dot uh, com so that's great so we secured that right away and then I thought okay um, you know I'll obviously check make sure that he's even taken on BGG like there's no other publisher out there name that I couldn't think of one but you gotta check so there's none and uh, uh, the next step was well I guess I'd like to announce this but I thought it would be cool to announce this if I had a logo so I'm like okay now I need a logo so I mean I, I guess I know a ton of different artists from working on different things but I, I, I don't know uh, much about it uh, getting logos made and stuff so I just I pretty much just put a, put a posting on face, Facebook just saying hey how much how much does a logo cost that's what I kind of posted and got a lot of a lot of feedback and input on that and also from that a bunch of different people messaged me saying uh, what do you need I, I can do a logo for you and I ended up working uh, with uh, Josh Rivers uh, I saw he's done a lot of great logo work and uh, it, it was fantastic and he he quoted me a price that was fantastic and I'm like yeah okay let's do it and work back and forth and let's let's take a, let's take a look now at some of the uh, the progression of some of the logos that he made for me so this was the first logo that he sent to me um, off the page games I'm like okay I see what you're doing there um, I wasn't fully you know digging on it but uh, I, I gave him an idea I said that I was trying to incorporate panels of some sort maybe there was a page of a comic book with panels in it and so just very quickly then he changed to this process here I'm like oh there you go some panels and he even gave me one with the different colors I'm like that's actually kind of neat um, but uh, I kind of said I almost would like the the dimensions of a comic book and somehow the panels or something like that the logos within the panels and he's like okay so he worked on that and came back with this one and I'm like, oh, I get you. I see what you're doing there. So I didn't do the panels idea, but kind of uh, with the funky lettering, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of liking this. And um, let's see with uh, maybe get rid of those exclamation marks. And the colors were a little too bright, so we went to a different kind of palette. It's a little bit more comic book kind of friendly colors, I guess. Uh, I'm like, okay, this is getting interesting. And uh, he offered one with the um, shadow. I'm like, no, I don't like the shadow. Uh, tried it with uh, just two colors uh, and then also with a straight uh, across as opposed to um, uh, for the games so instead of it being curved I think in this one here yeah it's curved I'm like well, I don't like the curve I said I like that it's coming off the page oh that's clever uh, and tried with a couple different colors and uh, I said yeah this one's cool uh, we had some issues with the G some people I showed it look potentially look like a C uh, so it off the pace uh, really quickly so I'm like oh can we change that in any way and we got this as the final logo for Off the Page Games. Uh, it's got the little thing on the G there. Uh, the lettering is spaced out a little bit more, teeny bit of a drop shadow. Uh, and I think it looks pretty clean. And I like that the comic book styling here. Um, so you can kind of tell it's comic. So that is that was kind of uh, my process my pro of trying to get a logo made. Now, while I was waiting in between getting revisions for the different logos, um, I also took that opportunity to do some of the legal stuff, um, the boring legal stuff. And so let me take you through some of the things that I did for, uh, um, for this. Now, I'll go through this a little bit quickly because it's very specific to where I live, which is in British Columbia. It's going to be different for different provinces you live in, different states you live in, different countries you live in, but I'm sure the process is going to be somewhat similar. I had to go and request a name as a actually kind of reserve the name as an official this is your company name and so first off it says step one read this important information before you get begin and there's all of this stuff like why should you use the service why do I need approval and it goes through all this stuff that you can learn uh, and that's great cool then it says research your choices so it actually says enter your name and it'll do a quick kind of um, perfunctory search to make sure that that it's, it's uh, okay of a name it's kind of weird that you have to search for your name before you have to search for your name and make sure it's kind of agreed upon so that's kind of weird but anyways uh, I searched for off the page games it seemed fine so then I proceeded and it said okay now submit a name approval request okay let's do that um, as two days process and ensure your name has at least one distinctive element in it this is just guidelines of like just don't call it 
Bob's Things or something, I guess. So uh, off the page games, it's got games, it's very distinctive. Decide what kind of business structure you need. Uh, and this here is where you decide whether you're going to be a sole proprietor, partner, uh, have corporate or limited liability, these kind of things. Right now for me, just being kind of a one man band, I'm just going for sole proprietorship. Uh, maybe as I grow, I might uh, incorporate and have a little bit more protection, but uh, I don't see any need for that right now. So I'm going sole proprietor. Uh, definitely let me know in the in the notes below uh, if you think there's uh, I should be advised against that and actually do something about make myself uh, incorporated or whatnot. That'd be interesting. Um, and then you register and then you go through this application. Blah 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 blah. So that was like for me it was like thirty one dollars fifty cents just to make sure the name is approved. Once that's approved then you have to go and actually uh, uh, register your business and that's a whole nother procedure to register a business it's pretty straightforward uh, a lot of stuff to fill out or whatever another $40 um, and now I, I wait uh, a few weeks for that to kind of get processed so that I'm an official business and um, while that's all happening uh, I was kind of getting ready for the announcement so doing all these things to make the announcement I bought a new webcam um, uh, got the logo obviously finalized uh, ready to go and put out that uh, YouTube kind of thing. And it was my idea of like, well, now that I'm doing this announcement as a video, maybe I should do this as a series. I thought that would be kind of an interesting uh, thing and kind of take people through this and hopefully learn something from everybody as I do it. Um, and then the rest of my time that I had to spend on the, the company was, was spent doing stuff with the game, uh, which I, again, I'll tell you shortly what that game is. Um, uh, but, uh, I was reviewing the game, going through the rules one more time, making sure everything was worded properly. Cause in the past I was always like, Oh, the publisher, they'll figure out the rules. They'll make it all perfectly worded and whatnot. I don't have to worry about it, but now I'm the publisher. So now I have to really be concerned about that and um, working on the prototype to make it uh, um, uh, as clean as possible so that if I'm going to be giving this out for people to test, to play test, to print and play, uh, I want to make sure it's as clean as possible. Uh, so really kind of tidying those things up as much as possible. And then also just doing a ton of brainstorming, trying to figure out how best can we take advantage of this IP. And as you'll see, this, this uh, IP has a lot of really kind of cool things going on, and we really want to uh, maximize that as much as possible. You'll see. You'll see. Um, anyways, that's it for this episode about logos and legal. Uh, we're going to get into more legals next week as we talk about uh, contracts. So I'm going to go through the details. I'm going to show you uh, actual contracts that I'm using with the people that I'm working with and uh, go through them almost line by line so that you can kind of see uh, what a contract is made up of. Uh, and I might even offer that contract out uh, as a downloadable because uh, it's it's a pretty good contract that uh, uh, Sen and I work together to kind of create and make it a, a very fair contract for the designers, uh, at least, uh, and hopefully for the publisher. Hopefully I'm not screwing myself over. Um, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching this week. Uh, please feel free to comment below uh, on anything you think that I should have done differently or anything I've already missed of like, dude, first week you got to be working on this already and I'm like oh I didn't even think about that let me know how, how how you think I'm doing thanks so much take care